Hi everyone. Today we're going to unbox our Bricks Series PLC. So what we'll do is take a look at the actual cart now and you can see it comes in a square box. We just open this up and the particular unit I have here is the uh, 18 IO. So it has built in Ethernet, your 10 inputs, one analog in, eight outputs and one analog out. So we open the lid here and inside we have our uh, free training, uh, 30 days free training. And then we have our product insert pamphlet. And in this pamphlet, we actually have all of our wiring diagrams and information about the uh, bricks. And if we take this off, okay, and there's our controller itself. So we'll just take this out of the box. So very nice design. You can see here that uh, we have our uh, Ethernet built in. We have a um, RS-232 or 45 port. It looks like we have our selector switch here for stop, terminal, or run mode. We have indication lights down the side here. And uh, what else do we have here? It looks like there's my uh, uh, X for inputs, my Y for outputs. I have connectors here on my terminal strips at the bottom, at the top. I have a uh, selector switch or socket. Open this up. And inside, what you'll see is I have a battery and a series of dip switches. So let's put that back. Um, over to the other side here, you see we have a, another compartment here, and this is for the expansion that will fit along to the side of the units. Going back to the front, we at, or at the back, you can see that we can DIN rail mount this unit. You can see that these pull down and these pull up. And when they're down like this, you can actually see that we can now screw this into the back of a panel. So very nice. So we'll just put that aside. Um, the other thing this has is another connector on the front. This is usually used for what they call a pluggable optional module. And this is a series of different modules that we can plug in here. And actually I have another box, which is the pluggable option module, which is the USB. We'll open it up. And we have a package. We also have our um, insert that came with it. Just talks about the our insert. Basically has all our different uh, modules that we can put in. So it looks like we can have another RS45, 232, screw or plug terminal. We can have an Ethernet terminal. Or what we have here is the USB for programming. Open that up. And there's the module for programming. We have a connector here and we have, you'll see indication there's some slides there. So we just can slide that right in and yep, pops right in there. So that's for uh, our programming itself, which is really neat. Um, we also have um, hot swappable. So if I don't like that, I want to put something else in. While the CPU is on, I can just turn, take that off, put that on. And it looks like on this module, I have my transmit receive buttons. Now, in order to wire this in, we have to also get a, uh, a bag of terminals and we open those up. We just have a, a series of these terminals that then uh, will plug into the 
um, the PLC and just plugs right in um, to where we want to um, have those connections. So they plug just like that into the unit so we know where our terminals are and they come straight in and then you see their screw terminals. So if we ever want to re you know, remove this PLC, we just unplug those, take our um, uh, snaps, do it off our DIN rail, and then we can just take this with us. Right. So very nice design. And next time what we'll do is power this up. Right. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can also go, um, uh, you can give us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. And when you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.